good, beautiful morning. Day number two from Antigua. And what we're going to be doing today is something that Guatemala is very known for, and that is its volcanoes. Now, the town of Antigua is surrounded by four volcanoes. We have Acatenango and Fuego on that side, which we saw when we drove into the town. And behind me is Agua, and then further that way is Pacaya. And three of these volcanoes you can actually hike, and the one we're going to be doing today is Pacaya. And when I say we, Angie's going to be joining me. And we booked this tour through a company called Do South Travels, which my Airbnb host actually recommended it to me. So yeah, they're going to pick us up at 2 o'clock in the center of town, and it's going to be about a 6-7 hour day. And it's actually going to be a sunset hike, which is going to be really cool seeing sunset from atop of a volcano. And surprisingly, Guatemala is pretty chilly, <laughs> which is why I'm dressed for the occasion, especially when we get to the top of that volcano. It's going to be pretty cold, but I'm excited and I'm ready for this. The, the height, the 1,900 meters, the top the finish, the 2,600 meters. You okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The mountain, Cerro Chino. Other side, Pacay. Bien, vámonos. The hike begins. You could take a horse up here. They're calling them taxis, but I'm going to do it the real way. We're going to earn it. No mas. <laughs> By the way, we've only been hiking for like five minutes. <laughs> After 15 minutes of hiking, Angela is tapping out and is going to take a horse taxi because she's gassing out. I am going to push forward. <laughs> There's her Uber. Ambulance. <laughs> And she sold out. <laughs> Just like that, I'm left behind. This weather keeps changing. This morning was cold. Afternoon's hot. They said it was going to be pretty cold when you get to the top. I think I may have overdressed. I don't know if you can see it, but that volcano behind us, that's Agua. Where's my water? Angie's back by foot. Yes. Because now we get to walk I'm to the Astro Volcano. You're happy now. <laughs> It's possible that rustic marshmallows leading more up in the mountain is a more good debut. Two marshmallows for two people. One dollar stick, one dollar marshmallow, fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> marshmallow in Guatemala, Angelito. Are you happy? <laughs> Windy. The mic's not picking it up. Alright, so behind me, that is Pacaya. Sadly, there is no more lava. Pacaya, the active, last year, no more active, okay? Pacaya, relax. And that's really why I wanted to do this hike. Now, I did get to see lava for the first time when I went to Nicaragua, but that was from a, like a viewpoint, so it would have been nice to kind of like see it up close, but you know, it is what it is. Another one. I had one. I'll do another one. You're nice cross. You nice. <laughs> mm. Interrupt this message for more marshmallow. So anyway, I was saying that Corona was telling me the last eruption was in 2010, and his village basically got smothered in 10 centimeters worth of ash. The big eruption, destruction of my house, the ashes in Guatemala City. And then for two whole days, there was no transportation or anything available. Incredible. We then headed further up to get a better view of Pacaya. To the top. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> That's the only way to go down. Let's do it. <laughs> I <laughs> got rocks in my mouth. That's our guide. Well, we didn't get to see any lava, but this was a fantastic day today. Thank you for a fantastic day, Corona. Sergio. Now you tell me it's Sergio. As we were leaving, we got to catch Volcano Fuego erupting in the distance.